2003 I've got this I went to this new address and um, the address postcode was PE321PQ or no PE321PH because um, I was in this cottage with two other people and um, it was part of this bigger house and um, the main house had a different postcode because it was on the the address of it was on a different road um, the entrance was a different road so P321PH is where I lived but um, the address of the main house was PE321PQ and um, if you think of one I think of PQ is like that's the order of the alphabet English alphabet goes PQ R S T U V and um well, I lived in um P thirty two one PH two mill cottages and um then um uh, four like three or four years later on that, I moved in there from, I was on Waveney Wood in Helsden Hospital, and then on the 8th of December 2003 I moved there, then I moved somewhere else on the 4th of November. Okay, um, 4th of November 2000 and, no, 27th of December 2007 I moved into a different address. So, um, the first address, it went P321PH and, um, starts with P, so then, that was 2003 on the 8th of December, and you can think of 2003 for standing for P, the first letter in the address, so then 2004Q, 2005R, 2006 S and then T for 2007 and um, in 2007 on the 27th of December three years before the end of the year and I felt before I felt since May or June I was really desperate to leave where I left, lived and then move into a new place before 2000, well it was still 2007 and I, I got there like four days before 2007 was finished um, so the address of this other place was for Sorrel House NR5 9BT and um, that's 2007, so I'll just do this once more time. I repeat things because I want people to, like, definitely know what I'm saying. They don't have to, like, miss it and rewind and think, what did you just say? And that sort of thing. So I'm like, um, I'm like, Taking it slowly so people really understand what I'm saying. I'm saying like um, P. First postcode was P thirty one P H and it starts with P. So P represents two thousand and three, and it goes Q two thousand and four, then R two thousand and five, S two thousand six, then T for two thousand and seven, and the. The postcode that I moved into ended with NR59BT, so it's like in, it was in order. And then in 2010, I moved into a different address, 16 Guardian Road, and um, I'd learnt this in 2019. Um, the thing about that was, um, what was it, like, um, 2000, 
Yeah, yeah. so the um, T for 2007, then U 2008, and then V 2009, and then W for 2010. And on the 4th of November 2010, I moved into this new address called 16 Guardian Road, and the post goes NR. 5-8-P-W and um, so it goes from T-U-V then this new address I was at was like W and it's, it's all in alphabetical and a chronological order that the first, the first postcode started with P and then the last postcode ended with W and um it was all in order. And, um, when I was younger, I used to always put, like, I had loads of CDs, and I'd, I'd put the CDs in order from, like, A being the first um, group, the band or artist, whatever, the beginning with A to... Z and they'd be from left to right and um but also I'd always put if I had two of the same band or like three or three CDs from the same band or something like that um I'd put them left to right from their first album to their last album oh, yeah. and so I'd order it like that that was when um that was like 1998 to 1999, 2000 and 2001 and all that. Um, then, um, so it turned out the addresses I lived in were in order that since 2003 to 2010, there was three addresses and they were all in order. And the first address started with it was p thirty two one p h so it's like thirty two is three two and then one p h is one so it's like three two one so it's it's saying it's like it's um it's a countdown like it's like a countdown three two one so I only learned about this stuff in 2019. I never really, I never found this stuff out. I just started thinking about this kind of stuff in 2019 because, um, yeah. Anyway, more about it is uh, I'd known the phonetic alphabet that I learned ages. I'd learned the phonetic alphabet maybe in 2012 or something or. 13 or 14 that interested me in knowing it just so I don't know it just seemed like a cool thing to me to know so like Alpha it goes Alpha, Beta, Charlie, Delta, Echo, Foxtrot, Golf, Hotel, Indigo and then um, Juliet Kilo, Lima, uh, Mike, uh, November, Oscar, mm, Papa, uh, Quebec, Quebec, um, Romeo, um, um, I'm just overthinking, I'm thinking of other things, so I'm trying to see, anyway, I'll try and keep going, um, because I was going to say something else, like, I wonder what Juliet and Romeo, I wonder which years they're in, because it's like Juliet in my thing is, um, represents 2023 and Romeo is um what is it um of uh, 2005 
Hmm. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't make much sense. No, it doesn't make any sense. Well, yeah, I suppose, because in 2005 I was 21. Maybe in 2023 is when I meet something. <laughs> uh, anyway, interesting. So, um, those are then Sierra with S, uh, then um, Tango, then I think it's Uniform. I think Uniform is U, then it goes Victor. Um, whiskey, uh, Yankee, no, X ray Yankee, um, I don't know, what is it, Zebra? I don't know, <laughs> Zulu, I can't remember, but it's Zed. Yeah, Zed's the only one I don't actually remember properly. Maybe I should look it up. Uh, Zed. Fine. Yeah, Zulu. So I was right with one of my guesses. Or, um, I was right with what I said anyway. Um, what is Zulu? Like a tribe? I don't know that way. Right, yeah, it was, um, Zulu is known for the ethnic people of, um, South Africa, so normal South Africans, I don't know. Um, yeah, so I said the phonetic alphabet now, and, um, the first address I lived at was, um, Papa, um, well, what struck me was the NR59BT was, T was Tango, and then, um, uh, W was Whiskey, so it was like, Tango's like a soft drink, and then Whiskey's like a hard drink, and then I could think of the letter P, like, because the postcode started with P-E, it was like, could be, um, could be a thing, like, sounding like piss. And they're both, they're all orange, yellowy kind of liquids, like, um, Tango is, is a soft drink in this country, I mean in the UK, in the UK, I don't know where else is Tango, is this orange soft drink, and then whiskey is this orange hard drink, and then it was like, the letter P could represent like, like piss, urine, or whatever, and that piss could be like an orange liquid as well, but and then another thing, the first address was like in a care home and it wasn't my ideal place at all and um, I didn't really want to stay there very long. Um, but, and it could, that could represent P, like it's not even a drink, like it's not even good enough to drink really. And then... Tango being a soft drink, it's like, well, the second address I lived at was much more independent, so it was much more easy to take. Living there was much easier than living in this care home, so it was like a um, Tango, a soft drink, and it, in this home, though, well, in this flat it was um there was like 120 flats in one building but um there was a office and someone was working monday to friday nine to five nine to five and um 
if you needed help with, I don't know, something, you could go to this office and um, say something. But um, I never really did that. I don't remember doing that. It was just um, if someone needed it and um, it was like there was lots of people with mental health problems there. It was like a, it's kind of like a stepping stone, kind of like a, people weren't supposed to be there. Well, I mean, some people were just normal people. I mean, it was like half the, half the people worked or they were students or and it seemed like nearly half the people were there because of uh, something to do with mental health things and um, I didn't really um I didn't really like it that it was a bed sit and just uh, the living room and the bedroom thing had its own um I've got to stop talking about this because that's not really the story. Basically, I forgot what I was talking about and I started talking like the other things are important when they're... I'm just trying to say something. Um, I'm just trying to get to the point of what I'm saying, which is... It wasn't a completely independent place, but it was quite independent. And then the next address I lived at, you know, on November the 3rd, 4th... Um, 2010 that was completely independent so it was like from pee which isn't even a drink but it's orange liquid yellowish or whatever so then tango is like soft drink you can actually appreciate drinking it and then i don't know yeah i don't like it but i don't like anything with sugar in it but then the last one being um Totally independent whiskey as a hard drink and it's orange. So like, but then later I thought like, P, I should think about the phonetic alphabet more. And like, I thought of Papa, I mean, P for Papa is like, um, you can think of it as like the father address. Like, that's where it all came from. Like, without the father, it wouldn't. B, so that's like the first address, meaning like the first letter of the alphabet, the first, that's where the code started in 2003. So, um, P for Papa, basically, but, and I was thinking, yeah, I don't even think about P anymore being represented in that place, because it sounds a bit silly. But now, just today, I'm thinking... P has two different meanings, doesn't it? You can just just saying P is a word as well as a as well as a letter. It's a word as well as a letter. So um, yeah, there's P forty two one ph and then like three two one the the first postcode being P thirty two one ph and then. In 2007, I moved into the main house, so it's PE 32 1PQ. So that gives a clue saying that it's a code because Q comes after P, it goes PQ at the end. So then 2007, it was RST for Tango, and then 2008, U Victor. W for 2000 whiskey anyway so that's basically it I thought that's an amazing thing because it's like it's counting down three is the first address two is the second address and three is, I mean one is the totally independent address. and then I didn't move again until 2020 and um it was May the 12th, 2020. And um, I made heaven on earth in um, November the 12th. So this was six months later to the day that I moved in to uh, this new address. And it was a care home, so it was like back to the beginning. And now I've got to explain something more. But um, 
the first address, it was the first place I moved into in 2003, it was two mill cottages, and the postcode was P321PH, and, um, um, yeah, it was number two, and then the two mill cottage, and then the second address I moved into was four Sorrel House, and our 59BT, so it's like two, and then four, so it's like two times two is four, and then the next address I lived at is uh, number four. So then the the third address I moved into was number 16 Guardian Road. So then it's like two times two is four, and then four, time, four times four is 16, and 16 was the third address. So it's all going in like squared. It's like... It's like the last address squared. And then, um, so I was in 16 Guardian Road. And then in 2020, on the 12th of May, so it's 5 12 2020, is, um, or May 12 20, May 12 2020, um, I moved into this new address and it was, it was a care home again, like, uh, where I started, I started in a care home, and then, and then because of the three two one, because of the first postcode being P thirty two one, it was like a countdown, and then I realised that I'm back where I came from, and in another, not exactly where I came from, in another care home, and it's not where I really wanted to be, and. Um, It's, it was, the address I moved into was for Holly's Lodge. So, um, I didn't really think about this. Well, it took me a while to even, I wasn't even thinking about it. I was just so pleased and, and amazed with this code that I already had. Like, I wasn't thinking I was going to be there for long in this Holly's place. And... It was September the 14th, 2020, when I realised that the address I'd just moved into was, um, well, I mean, I think I got the, the address I moved into was for Holly's Lodge. So it was like two, I lived in number two, two mill cottages, then four sort of house, 16 garden room, and then I'm back to four again. So it's like... I lived in um, Four Hollies Lodge, just, but then on the seventh, no, fourteenth of September, twenty twenty, I just realised that I'd been writing down these things to show people that all my addresses were in like order, and I, I'd really put a lot of effort to write them down neatly to present to people, and. Um, on the 14th of December, no, September, I realised that I realised like like um uh, trying to think what I'm talking about, but it's good to like keep. It's good to like think. Um, 14th of September. Yeah, I realised that um, where I live, where I was living, I started adding it up in my head, being like. Well, I got to W for whiskey, and then X-ray uniform or umbrella <laughs> uniform Victor 
whiskey, uh, then um, X <laughs> ray Yankee Zulu. Then in, if I, I thought I put maybe if I start the alphabet again, like put A after Z, after Zulu, after Z, it comes A again. So so A being 2014, I think, I think I'll find. Well, I'm sure I remember that, right? So um, 2014 was A. And then I'd go B, 2015, and then C, 2016, D, 2017, E, 2018, F, 2000, what did I just say? I think, anyway, I know F is 2019, and then uh, G, 2020, and the address I'd moved into was 4 Holly's Lodge, NR15, 2LG. So, <laughs> it was, it. I was fucking, I was blown away, I was like, what? Shit, no, uh, like I'd lived in this place, I'd lived in like four Holly's Lodge since the 12th of May, yeah, and in June I moved into uh, seven Holly's Lodge because seven Holly's Lodge was like your own flat, a one bedroom flat, and I, well, a bed set with the kitchen and the living room being the same room. Yeah, it was fat, and um, I thought I'd want to live more there than where I was living before Holly's Lodge was, like, upstairs, and um, it was, there was three other rooms, flats or whatever, there's ensuite bedrooms, really, but people called them flats, and um there's four of us, like flat one, two, three, and four. Well, how it was before I moved in was like they thought of um, the office being flat one because there's an office in there upstairs as well. And so, office flat one, and then flat two, three, and four, and five. But soon after. I moved in, they just called the office the office and they put a plaque saying Holly's Lodge 1 to 4, 1 to 4 Holly's Lodge and on the outside and they were renovating this whole place and um, I was waiting for this 7 Holly's Lodge because they would have moved me in there straight away but they were doing loads of work to convert it into a flat rather than what it was before, which was like just a room and part of a corridor. Um, there was a lot, there was lots of work going on every Monday to Friday. There was construction and I moved in there in June, near the end of June in this flat seven. But um, what did my head in was at night time, there'd be this light shining in, and the light just shone all night in it. I tried hanging up sheets and stuff in front of the windows, and then someone had them. Someone next door was playing loud music all quite early and late at night, and um, as well, I'd. Uh, I, I'd have to ask for a sharp knife when I wanted to cut stuff, and um, lots of times I like, I figured out, I saw someone do the code for the keys, and they'd, they'd keep the keys in this safe, and I, one person, one time, um, Cutler, um, this, this girl, um, she left, she 
she left the safe open after she got the keys out and said she just has to go and get something or something and then I checked what the code was on the safe and then I um, kept a note of that so then when when she went I um, opened one of the cupboards and got out this sharp knife and used it to cut some cabbage or whatever and then then I'd try and I'd put it back in a in a different place. I wouldn't. There was like four four or five sharp knives in this drawer, and I put one of them in a different cupboard so I could just use it any time, not have to not have to ask every time I wanted to use it. Well, that was annoying me. Like, and then someone found my knife once, and then they. It was like they like outlined all the knives with a pen so they could see which ones were missing and all that and did my head in so um, and they changed the they probably changed the code on the safe and um, I wasn't really like I f just because it was. I didn't have to climb up any stairs, that was good, but I don't, I felt really, I didn't feel good in that flat, and then I asked if, well, someone suggested that I move back into flat four where I was before, I'm not sure why I'm telling you all this, <laughs> because I was just trying to tell you this about the postcode thing, but I mean... So I moved back into flat four in August, yeah. So I'd moved into flat four in May, then moved to this other place in June, flat seven, not far away, and then um, back to, in August, I went back to four, I then I had to go somewhere else, and I came back, and um, it was September. September the 14th, I realised that the postcode started with G, representing 2020. And then I thought about the P32, 1PQ thing, 1PH. And um, I realised that... Um, G, the, the postcode was in line with everything and it was the next... The next address and the next main address and um yeah I missed something out like in 2007 um they put me in hospital on the 3rd of Ju July then in September they gave me the choice to be homeless or to go in this other care home but um I I wanted to be homeless, but they kept they kept uh, saying they kept encouraging me to just go to this care home. Then uh, saying they'd give me my tent out of a, it was in storage, like lots of my stuff was in storage, and they they said they'd get my tent out of storage so I could go and live in my tent if I preferred. So I did that after about three weeks when they. They hadn't got it out of storage for like three weeks. And uh, I went to live in the tent and uh, the whole time I stayed there was between September 2007 and December 2007. But I wasn't there long and um, most of the time that that was my address. I was actually like 30, no, I was like 60 miles away in near Kings Lynn and I was working in Kings Lynn and I preferred living in the tent to this other care home so I was just basically I wasn't really living there I don't think of it as one of my addresses really it was it definitely wasn't well I mean it wasn't one of my main addresses I was only there for a few weeks it wasn't like and I'd been in hospital for like a few months and I just didn't think of hospital or this other address as my as like one of my main addresses so I didn't count that like the postcode was different, it wouldn't have fit in, and I didn't, I didn't think it should fit in because I was hardly there. Really. But anyway, 
in um, 2020 I was here and I worked out that G G stands for golf so it went from whiskey hard hard drink whiskey to golf and then I wondered what can golf mean like and I realized that golf the word golf meant quite a lot to me because in um the year 2000 like a month or two after I'd become after I let the Holy Spirit, after I let a spirit in my head and wondered what it meant to be God, went to this, um, I went in a car, it was like my first car journey since I've been God. And, um, is it anyway, is the uh, October 2000, October 1st, 2000, went to one of my mum, one of my, um, Mum's friend's house, and um, it was a cottage, and we stayed there like what, one or two nights. I think it was just one night, maybe. And um, we drove. It took six hours to get there, or something. And um, when I got there, it's like the cottage is like right next to a golf course, or something, or it's on the golf course, or yeah, anyway, it's right next to a golf course, and. Um, what happened was um, um, Radiohead were releasing their fourth album, Kid A, and I'd heard some of the songs on the radio while driving to get there on the 1st of October 2000. So um, I wanted to go on the internet to hear that album and... I just, um, she had the internet, and us, but it was her son's, like, computer, and, um, she said I could use it, she, the son wasn't there, and it was, wasn't there, um, I went, um, I wanted to use the computer, I turned it on and it was protected by a password and then um, that day I'd been wondering what it means to be God because um, I don't know, it's just interesting to me what and then there was, he had quite, quite a lot of golf clubs in the room and he had quite a lot of golf equipment in this room, in this bedroom, and I thought, I'll just type in golf and see if I get, see if it's the right password, and um, I typed in golf, and um, I was right, it was the, that was the password, and I got into the computer, and I started using the internet, and um, it was dial-up internet, there wasn't any broadband then, and I started, um, I looked in his history, what I'd been watching and stuff, and, um, anyway, what I did was, I probably looked at pornography and stuff, but, um, at midnight, it was supposed to be the, when Radiohead were going to put this album out, so I stayed up to mid past, um, stay up till the 2nd of October 2000 and I listened to Radiohead's new album and um, the next day this guy came back, this, his her son came back and um, I knew his internet history, anyway, I won't say about it but um, now and um I, I said I, I asked him if he knew Radiohead's new album came out and he wasn't really interested and um he had a guitar uh I think we went home that day and it was just interesting because 
golf, like on the 14th of September 2020, it was like, I thought to myself, fuck, that's amazing, like I've just cracked the code that, that this new address stands for zero, and it's, it's, the postcode ends with G and it's in line with all the other addresses, it's still in this code, and um, it's um, the phonetic alphabet, the phonetic word for G was golf, and it was like, I thought back to that time on the 1st of October when I, 2000, when I cracked that code, it was just, I cracked that password the first time, the first guess, the first, like, thought was, I'll just type in golf and see if that happens, and it was, and I cracked into this computer and it was like, and then on the 14th of September 2020, I've like cracked this whole thing. And now I understand like, I'm obviously God. And then it made me think so. And then, because I already thought it was amazing how all my postcodes were the same up until that point, up until I moved into this new place. And I just thought that was evidence enough to to show people why and why I think like a thing. And then there was this 2020, it was the same code and it was, I was back in four Holly's Lodge, like I'd been in flat seven, but I came back to flat four. And then it was like this two, four, 16, back to four. And um, what else? Well then another strange thing was in this new address, there was two postcodes, like for the same building, well, for the same whole place, they had, um, this is quite a long, um, this other address, I mean, this other postcode, it had an R15 2LH, so it was 2LG and 2LH, so. It was a little bit like how the first place I lived in had two different postcodes, like PE321PH and PE321PQ. So, anyway, in about the f November, late October, in um, October 2020, I thought I'd move back into where I lived before. 16 Guardian Road, I still had that place, and it was mine, had the keys to it, and um, some stuff had happened in October that just made me think I'm ready to leave this place now because I've completed something, and um, so in November 2020, I was living back at my flat, then in December 2020, they were near Christmas they were asking me if I'd come back and I wouldn't come back to this other place that I lived at and then um, January 2021 um, someone they put me in hospital some um, but when I was in hospital they'd been injecting me against my will with this horrible stuff that fucks your brain up and um when I got to hospital like January 2021 um I saw the this doctor I'd never talked to seen before called Guy Rayfield and um I thought it was a cool name like He's a guy, and his second name is Ray Field, just like the rays of the sun on a field. And um, he got me off this, uh, well, not just him, but people who were saying to him how they didn't think I should be on this medication, how they shouldn't be on this, shouldn't be poisoned, like I shouldn't be on that medication. And so he, he got me off this medication, so I wouldn't have to take it, so... So I got admitted to hospital, but they said um, 
I don't have to have this medication anymore. And then I stayed there till February. And um, I met a girl in hospital and then she said, she said we're married and uh, yeah, she said we got married and um, that meant to me that I had three wives now because in 2019 this other girl said she felt like she'd, she was spiritually married to me now because we walked together through this archway or something and so I, to me that was like and at the time, I just had the soul of uh, the God in my in me. I didn't have the soul of anyone else. It was just God. Um, this girl meant it meant to me that this girl was God's wife, and um, no one else's. And the girl, the second girl, I just got married to was. Um, I was I was more than one spirit. I had more than one spirit in me when that happened, so it was like a shared wife, and then the first wife I had, I didn't believe I was God, so that was like the first wife in his geology, as no one else's, it's just the person I was born of, the whatever, this isn't even part of the shit, I just keep talking like, I don't want to swear anymore, um, So it was 2020 and I was in this place and um, then I moved back to my flat. I was in hospital. They got me off medication and had this new wife or whatever. Then um, I came back to this... I came back to this um, place where I lived at since May the 12th, 2020. And there was lots of different people there. And, um, uh, I can't remember. Uh, it was, I think I came back in December or something and I'd met these new people and, um, I went back to live in this place in February 2021. And um, they they changed my room to flat five. So it was like in 2020, I was in flat four. Then in 2021, I got moved to flat five. And so it was like 2020 stood for zero because of the first postcode being P321PH. And then it was like one year later, 2021, I was in flat five, so it was like plus one, because you can't go lower than zero. Zero is the lowest you can go. And then, um, in a normal sense, anyway, in something that makes sense. And then, so it must be one again. So 2021 must be like a higher year than... 2020, because 2020 was just so hard, that was like, it was so hard that year, and then 2021, I moved into flat five, so it was like plus one, and then as well, because of the postcode was P32, no, NR15, 20H, like it was two, for 2020, I mean, it's two NR15, 2LG, that could represent 2020 and then for 2021 because it because i moved into flat five it was like plus one so it could mean like nr15 to lh like h was now the proper postcode because it was 2021 it was 2020 plus one and then so i thought about that and then i thought well h stands for hotel and um in this flat five it was like, it was totally new since, I mean, they'd renovated all these flats in June 2020 and 
before that. They'd been working for months and months, even before I came. And um, so this flat, the flat seven I was in, that was also a new place, but it didn't seem that the toilet in flat seven, the bathroom, well, the shower and toilet room was really small. But in this flat five, the the shower and toilet room, it was really big and um, it looked really posh and everything looked like, kind of like a hotel. The whole thing was like a hotel and only one person had lived in this flat since until I moved, until I lived in it, and um, everything looked new, and I don't know, it's kind of like a hotel, and I I started ordering um, takeaways every few days for some reason, and um, also, when I'd been there in this place before, I'd go shopping every week, you know, car and I'd always be scared of driving in cars because uh, cars are scary to me, I don't like being in them and um, I wouldn't mind if the speed limit was like 28.77 more but um, this driving's dangerous I want the speed, This it's scary driving in cars unless it's really slow Unless everyone's going slow, I just really hate being in cars because it's they're scary, it's really scary. And um, to me, I mean, I mean, I don't want to risk, I don't want to risk cars. Like, I don't want to risk going in cars. And I had been doing that, but then I was sort of like, once it was 2021, I'd been brought back to this place kind of against... Well, what happened in hospital was, when I was in hospital, they, there was someone talked on a computer to me and these two women were talking on the computer to me from different places. And one was like working and one was like a housing officer for where I lived before and the other was working in this um, care home and they wanted me to st give up 16 Guardian Road they wanted me to give up my uh, old uh, address because the neighbours had some kind of the neighbour had a problem with me and um, I hadn't done anything wrong really they just said like I could go into this care home for a few months so then they said uh, I could get a different place and um, um, I said all right um, um well, what, what I didn't really like was, um, I didn't really like my neighbour, I didn't like my flat much because it had wooden floors and I hate wooden floors. And, um, I just, well, I accepted for some reason. And, uh, when I moved into this flat five, I I said I'm not going shopping anymore. People can do. I just want to say what I want for food, and they can bring it to me. So, because it was like I'd just given up my flat. I'm not going to start. Like I was doing someone a favour by being in this place or something. And, um. Yeah. So. So I stopped going shopping and I got all my shopping delivered to me. So it was, so it was another thing, like, it's like a hotel kind of thing. Because I'm just, I'm just staying in this house and all my food and stuff is just being brought to me and I'm not doing anything. And I'm, 
I mean, I'm doing loads of stuff, but I mean, it's, well, it felt like I was living in a hotel kind of thing, so that, it made sense for me to be in this H thing, 2LH, and, um, but, um, I felt really lonely in this flat five, and, um, I did have this wife, and I went to, I spent some time with her, but then she, uh, she went to hospital again when I wasn't in hospital, and then some, someone changed her mind about me, or someone said something, and she stopped talking to me after she got out of hospital. So I was really not happy about that, and um, then where I lived was with John Payne and uh, people talking next door, and the music was doing my head in a bit, and. Um, <sighs> Felt like no one hardly comes to see me, and then I didn't like living in this place anymore. And I never really liked it in the first place. But after this, after my third wife left me, it was like I didn't want to be there anymore. So I went back to Norwich to be homeless, and I, I. I started sleeping, well, I walked 10 miles, or 10 or 11 miles back to Norwich on one night, and um, it took about five hours to get there, and I had got um, food with me and stuff, and um, that was, I think it was March 20, 21. I went in the woods and I was eating food and walking and it got cold, got really cold and then I wondered if my shed is open in my old flat, to my old flat, I didn't have the keys anymore but I got it, the shed was open and I slept in the shed and had a mattress in there and a duvet, so I started sleeping in my shed, and then the first night I laid down in a, in a shed in an allotment, but then, and I went to this guy whose allotment it was, he gave me the keys to get in there, but I don't know, I just didn't want to, I just hated being stuck in the middle of nowhere, I wanted to be in the city, so I went there, and I had food with me, but it was quite cold outside and slept around this friend's flat once or something. Anyway, it was shit and I, I didn't want to go back to flat five because there was always loads of noise and the music and Uh, I, don't, I didn't like it, I said, uh, so I talked to the people who work here on the phone, I was keep keeping in contact with them on the phone and charging my phone up around my friend's house and um, it was a few weeks like that probably and Nah, it wasn't a few weeks, it was like a week or two or something. But, um, sleep in the shed and I said to the people who are here, I said, I don't want, I said, I don't want to come back to that flat five. And then there, I asked them if they could, well, before I even left, I probably asked them if I could, swap with uh, this girl because this Gemma was um, 
Gemma Fiona. She was, um, wait, um, Gemma, she, um, whatever. I mean, John was with Gemma and they'd always be talking and playing loud music and it was doing my head in. And, um, um, I said to the pit staff that I could, I wanted to swap flats with her because she was in the, she was in like the place where four Holly's Lodge was and she was in three Holly's Lodge, flat three. And I wanted to go back to that building because I didn't like being in this flat five. So I asked if I can swap with her because she's always in flat five. She's always in the living room of or in his room of this other building, it was a two bedroom flat, so I asked to swap with her, but then I kept in contact with him on the phone when I was back in the, in the city. And they said they, I think they said they've, they've moved my stuff now and um, I can, come back if I want to. They was always trying to encourage me to come back and I didn't really want to, I'd rather be homeless, but I came back and then they didn't swap me with her, they swapped me with another guy and the room that I got was a room that I'd wanted to live in since since I first moved into flat four, I thought this other flat, because of the view from the, I thought the view from the window would, because of the side it was facing, it was a different side facing, and I thought I'd really want to be in that room more than flat four, but anyway, when I came back, they'd moved me into this new room and they hadn't swapped with they hadn't swapped me with her, they'd swapped me with him, like another, some guy, and um, so I had his room, and it was uh, flat two. It has a room and ensuite bathroom shower in it, and um, anyway, this was now two Holly's Lodge, and so I'm just trying to explain it, so... I was saying to swap with her in flat three, but they swapped me into flat two. And then that meant that, well, PE321PH has seven characters in it. Like P is the first character, E is the second character, three is the third character, two is the fourth character. One is the fifth character, P is the sixth character, and H is the seventh character. And I lived in P31 PH, and then I lived in NR59BT, and then I lived in NR58PW, and then I lived in NR152LG. Number four for Holly's Lodge, and um, then I moved into seven Holly's Lodge, and seven Holly's Lodge is the fifth address, and then five Holly's Lodge was the sixth address, and then two Holly's Lodge was the Seventh address, and it went like two mill cottages, four Sorrel House, sixteen Guardian Road, four Holly's Lodge, seven Holly's Lodge, five Holly's Lodge, and then back to two Holly's Lodge. So 
if you if you forget about seven Holly's Lodge and two five Holly's Lodge, it goes two four sixteen four two. So it's just a complete. It's like going back to. It's like. Well, you know what that is, and then as well the first code the father address 2003 papa is papa echo um papa echo 321 papa hotel papa age is um is the last character in the first postcode is H and it goes the first character is P then the last character is H and then also it goes P thirty two one and then it says another papa and another it's it says PH again like it starts with P and then it's got another P in it and then it says H and H is the what it ends with and <sighs> Like P thirty two is the Papa address and it's the father address and it's like it ends with H and I was in this place called the Hollies and it begins with H and then the postcode for twenty twenty one it ends with H and I'm in this two Hollies Lodge and I started off in two mill cottage 2003 and then I'm here I was in um, Two Holly's Lodge and it had similarities I was upstairs I was in a room upstairs and in Two Mill Cottages it was a room upstairs and had the kitchen downstairs and the living room downstairs and that was all the same and um and the phone number, the phone number for the first address I lived in was 01553636654. Since I've been 15, the number 53 had meant dying and the number 54 meant death. And then in this last address I was in, in two Millhouse, two um, Polly's Lodge, it was... Um, the p the phone number was O one five oh eight five three oh five four oh so both places had phone numbers with five three and five four in them and um yeah then there's even more there's even more stuff to say about this, but I'm not even going to say it in this video because it's it's still not completed. Well, it is completed. The the address thing is completed, but I mean, there's just more little things that I could mention that I won't bother mentioning. But it's all like so in developed. It's all in this code. It's enveloped in this code, and um. So I was in two mill cottage, no, two Holly's Lodge, and I figured, well, this must be the last address, and this is where the address thing ends because it's gone two four sixteen four and back to two, and then I'd been in flat seven, and seven is like a, it's a, like one of God's numbers, like favorite numbers, and then five plus two is seven again, so. It's like, uh, it went, it went like, um, what did it go like? It went two, four, sixteen, four, and then seven, seven, like two sevens or something. Yeah. Seven, four, four, seven, four, seven, four. Five two. Anyway, there's that. So then in 2021, I started reaching out to people, um, and then I got put back in hospital in June 
2021, I got put him back in hospital because um, I was really like hyper. And um, this one day, um, I was really, I'd been up for three days, hadn't had any sleep for three days and had loads of energy. And um, I asked if I could move out of this. I was getting and feeling isolated in this to Holly's Lodge and I was asking to move out of there, maybe into the main house and um, the, I think I've had my phone over the mic, hand over the mic, anyway, so on this day, um, Sorry about this. Anyway, on this day, yeah, I was, people were worried about me, and then I was saying I don't want to walk upstairs again to this place, and I just want to be on the ground floor. And they moved me into the main house. They, well, they set up my room into the main house. Yeah, and before I moved into the first, in the first care home, where it all started in P32, 1PH, they, in 2007, I moved into the main house there, like, I'd lived there since 2003 in the cottage, but in 2007, just before, I was, a few months before I left, I was in the main house, and, um, the... Yeah, the beds are there and this. And it was happening again. Like, what happened? I moved to the main house in the other place and then got sent to hospital not long later, like a few months later. And then on this day that I got moved into the main house in this care, they got me a new room. It was room 12, and then. Um, later on the same day. I got sent to hospital because they thought I was so hyper and um, I'd smashed a TV and out of a little bit of anger, I didn't, didn't shout or anything. I broke a TV controller. They called the police and got, they sent me to hospital. So I was in hospital from the 4th of June 2021 till the 20th of October 2021. And, um, and when I got when I got put in hospital, then they were telling me that I'm not allowed to go back to this home. They they were saying I'm I'm kicked out and I'm homeless now, and um, they're gonna have to try and find me a new place. But in um, in September or something, they were saying I could. They asked about how I was doing and someone said I can come back as long as I stick to some guidelines and whatever. I came back here. I came back here in October 2021. And then it was like an amazing thing happened. To me, it was amazing what happened on the 4th of November. 2021, um, and the 4th of the November 2021 was, um, it was exactly 11 years since I'd moved into 16 Guardian Road, and then on the 27th of December 2021, another amazing thing happened to me that I believe is amazing, and, um, yeah, it was an amazing day, and that signified it was um, it was fourteen years exactly fourteen years to the day that I'd moved into Sorrel Four Sorrel House, and um, that was all amazing stuff. And um, <laughs>
Uh, and right, so then I knew the postcode thing was over, the addresses. I knew all the address thing was over. And um, because 2022 stood for indigo. Um, in 2022, it was like indigo. I looked up about postcodes and um, I didn't think so either, but I read that there isn't any postcodes that end in I there because I gets mixed up with the letter, the word, the number one. So they can't have I at the end of a postcode. And I was thinking, I'm going to move out of this place in 2021, 2022, I mean. And so the address I move into won't be beginning with, let ending with I. And I was thinking the, the, the postcode code is over. Like the address code is over. It's gone from P to H. P to Z to A to H, Pizzazz, Pizzazz, or whatever, and then, um, Pizzazz, and then, it's like, because in the phonetic alphabet, I stands for indigo, and I, I changed my name in 2021, I changed my name from the name I'd had to a name and um, it's 23 letters long and in the middle of my name is the letter I and um, there's 11 letters each side of it and um, I is in the middle and um, like papa is like like papa and the p thing like the papa and tango and whiskey like papa could mean like just p as well like the word p and then also like i the letter i could just mean like i like i represent myself and 2022 stands for I, so it's like I'm representing myself as who I am, and um, it's also indigo though, and um, I was thinking lots about indigo, and um, because so many things have happened to me about rainbows, it's like indigo is the second colour of the rainbow, so then if I go back to thinking about 2020, it was the lowest point. It was. It stood for the number zero from PE thirty two. Mean PE thirty two standing for the number three, and four Sorrel House being um, standing for two, and um, sixteen Guardian Road standing for one in the countdown of PE thirty two one PE. One PQ and um so then four Holly's Lodge was like zero and then two Holly's Lodge was like one no five Holly's Lodge was like one and then um and then I'm in this Holly's and then it's like something Something's going to happen in 2022 to make it be like two. And two is the second colour in the rainbow from the bottom to the top. So also, if I think back to 2020 and I think of the rainbow, it, violet is the first colour of the rainbow. So, and violet would stand for 2021 because I moved into five Holly's Lodge in 2021 and before that I was in four Holly's Lodge in 2020 so I moved into five Holly's Lodge in 2021 it's like plus one so that 2021 meant one and then 22 22 was meaning two and 
evidence for 2022 meaning two was the phonetic alf in the phonetic alphabet i indigo is the second color of the rainbow so then if you go back to 2020 it's like below the rainbow it's not even a color in the rainbow it's ultraviolet it's like before the rainbow starts there's ultraviolet light that you just can't you just don't see it because it's invisible because the human eye doesn't really well i'm sure we know it's there but i mean it's hard to see ultraviolet light until it gets to a certain frequency wave frequency and um So we got, so now indigo is the second colour. You know? First colour is, um, it goes ultraviolet 2020, then it goes violet 2021, and in 2021 I felt so much better than 2020. It was like, um, emotionally, and I, I started in like May 2021, or... April, I'd been trying to reach out to people and like, it was like I knew I was God, I know I'm God, but no one else, like other people don't understand it and I was writing out loads of shit, I was writing out loads of writing that I could write in emails to people who were like part of the media or whatever, I wrote to people who worked for media that I liked and um, And I, I wrote to some people in emails. It was like I was trying to reach out to people um, rather than just like... So it was like I was... I started to shine. Like I was... I was letting out... I was letting my story be known to people who... I hadn't met before rather than just... People I come into contact with face to face. I was trying to get my message across to people who I thought could help me. And, um, yeah, because I felt, yeah, I didn't like what was going on. And I didn't feel good. So I was trying to, it was a big year anyway. 2021, it was like, I was feeling a bit better, and um, so it's the first colour of the rainbow, then 2022 is the second colour of the rainbow, and then 2023 stands for blue, like a light blue in the rainbow, or a lighter blue than indigo, I just think of indigo as blue really, but in these, in the official like what people think, the official, like, letter, um, colours of the rainbow. See, I said letters, then numbers, then colours of the rainbow, anyway. It's the second colour of the rainbow, and then blue is the third colour of the rainbow, which is a bit lighter than indigo, then 2024 is green, it stands for kilo in the phonetic, and then... It's like green, it's got some weight to it, and it's like the green light for go. It's, uh, 2024 is really important to me, and um, so it's go, green, go, stop sign, like go, traffic light, and then um, it's kilo in the phonetic alphabet, and K, just, just K. Um, that's green anyway in the rainbow, then it's the fourth colour of the rainbow, yeah? And then the fifth colour of the rainbow is yellow. Yellow stands for 2025. And then um, 2026 stands for orange. So it's, it's like counting up. And as well, green in Fanatic alpha that are shit. So then, um, green in the fanatic alphabet is, um, it's the fourth color of the rainbow, but it's also 
2024 is also the highest number because it went from the postcode, it went PE32, 1PQ, and then it went down to zero, being a four Hollies Lodge NR15, 2LG, G Golf. It was like the lowest point, zero. And though actually some things I didn't mention about 2020 was I, I was in this hospital and it was called Southern Hill Hospital and it, I was on Pearson Ward and I was the first ever person on this ward and it, the hospital's next to a golf course. And then in 16 Guardian Road, it's about 100 metres away from a shop called American Golf and it's a really big shop, like there isn't any other shops around really, that's the only shop that's close to 16 Guardian Road. So. In 2020, I was living, I was living in this, um, well, I was living in Guardian Road for a little bit near the end of the year, and um, it's next to that, so it's like 2020 stands for golf, and then I was in this, and I was in a hospital for, from... March to May, I was in a different hospital, and that's next to a golf course. And then, as well, in a Heaven Hospital, Helsden, well, Heaven Hospital, NR6 5BE, I was in this, um, in the other hospital, and also that hospital is right next to a golf course as well. So, in 2020, I lived in three places that were really close to somewhere associated with golf. So that was another thing. Anyway, I mean, there's loads of these details. I could, I could make this, I could make a video being nine hours long and I still wouldn't be done with all these things. But I'm just trying to say the little thing. I'm trying to say the most important things. And so... 2024, the significance of 2024 is that it stands for four. From, from 2020 being the lowest point, then 2024 is higher, is a higher number. Four is a higher number than the postcode even started with in PE32. That was like 321, but 2024 is like higher, it's four. It's a bigger number, like... It's a bigger deal, everything's bigger. Like, it just keeps going up. And then, um, 2025 is yeah. 2026 is orange. And, um, 2027 is red. And, um, 2028 is, uh, infrared. And in my dream, I had... I'd had this dream in 2017. I'd, I'd ate, eaten loads of weed, and then now uh, one week I um, I tried the salvia divinorum. I tried smoking salvia divinorum out of a bong, and I was shutting myself in a cupboard so I'd breathe in more smoke than if I than if I was in a normal size room. I trapped myself in a cupboard smoking out of a bong and then that was a big experience to me and then a week later I had a, I was eating loads of weed with, mixed with LSD and then um, I had this dream and uh, maybe a day later after I'd done the weed and the LSD and it was a really it was a really powerful dream it was uh probably the most amazing dream I ever had and it was all about me on my it was all about my real life like like doing being doing the right thing like it was all about trying to do the right thing and then near the end and then I'd become famous as God and um like I knew I was God, and um, at the end of the dream, near when I became, when I got to the point where 
I became really famous. I was like, I was in the sky and I was above a rainbow and I was like right in G-O-D, I was writing my name in rainbow letters and stuff and um, I was, my head was above the rainbow so that 2027 is red and then 2028 is infrared. It means that I'm above the rainbow. Like infrared is above the rainbow and um, in 2028 in this postcode list, in this phonetic alphabet list, in this list it means 2028 um, stands for infrared and that's above the rainbow so that's when I become more famous than ever and um, that's how it happens and um, as well if you go P stands for Papa and then Quebec Romeo and you just keep going like 2000, 2010 is whiskey then 2020 is golf, and then 2021 is hotel, 2022 is indigo, and Juliet, Kilo, for 2024, it's like got weight to it, it's like my story's got a lot of weight to it in 2024, it's like a kilo, and then L Lima 2025, M, M2026, and um, there's this thing I want to draw back to now, I'm just going to put in loads of details because I think like there's so many details I can say and it's, it's just good to loan no loads of details, it's like it's all part of the thing and it's all part of the same code, it's got the same relevance really. But um, I started emailing Lauren Hill, the, she's the best, well she, she's the most sophisticated rapper, the, the most sophisticated uh, rapper there has been, or the, she's definitely the most sophisticated female rapper that has been but I just just think she's the most sophisticated rapper that there's ever been because because of her two songs like neurotic society and um lauren hill um yeah there's two songs that are like really fast and they're hard to listen to and they've got so many long words in them and it's just like it's like blindness it's pretty good, pretty complicated. It's anyway. I started talking to her because she, I found in twenty twenty one. I just thought to look her up, and um, in May the twenty first something, and I saw that her, she like on her Instagram, she's saying, or in this post, she was saying that. People can contact her if she if they want and like give ideas about how to stop the how to stop conflict in the world between Palestine and the other place and all that. Well, it's how to stop conflict in Palestine, shit. And I was I thought I'd send her an email and so um, the way you're gonna do it is you have to make me famous because. You have to, like, you've got to make me famous to be, because without me, there's not, there's a bit, no one's going to find any resolution without me. Like, um, so I was writing, I was like copying and pasting loads of information to send to her and say, she's got to read this. And um, I started talking to her and, she was not talking back and then I I was feeling angry because she kept bl blocking my emails and um, I said I was angry and then she was 
And then she, uh, she replied. But it was only like four or five days and I stopped talking to her on the 25th of May. 2021 and um, I went to hospital not long later and I, I didn't get back in touch with her until December 2021 and um, lots of happened lots happened I could tell her lots of things that happened since I last talked to her and um, that was 2021 and uh in December 2021, there was another girl on YouTube and she was giving out her email address so people could email her. And um, she'd really, she'd been talking about me and um, she'd been reading, the, talking about the Bible. She'd been reading the Old Testament and New Testament and I'd watched like three days worth of her videos like, I was like for two or three days I was watching all her videos all day and all night and I missed like a night of sleep and I was just listening to all her videos because it, so, it was so amazing to me and it was so informative and I was like learning about myself kind of thing and uh, she made me feel so empowered and like Lauren Hill, she wasn't talking to me before. She wasn't talking to me. She, the last time she ever talked back to me, replied to me, was like May 2021. I'd start to writing loads to her, but she wasn't writing back. And um, she kept blocking my emails again. I just thought that made me really upset. And then, and then I thought to myself, I'm not going to talk. I'm not going to type to anyone again. I'm not going to. I'm not going to type anymore and I'm not going to try and I'm not going to try and e email anyone again because no one ever talks to me and then that was about the 6th of December and I thought I'd give up like I'm not typing anymore maybe I've got to f find some other way maybe or something um, it's just not working I might as well I might as well prove to myself that I can do what I want to do and don't need any contact with anyone else. But but then I found this other girl and I watched loads of her videos and when when I was watching her videos, I just felt so compelled to um, leave a comment and I was doing that and then I realised, oh yeah, I'm typing again, but I'd like forgotten I was going to stop typing to people, but... Um, I was typing to her and then I wanted to write emails to her so I started writing emails to her and the um, thing is Lauren Hill's email address was um, starting with it was community.mlh at whatever and the um, thing about it is um, well, there's nothing about it. It's just, it's just for the community or whatever. And then this other girl's email address was collaterally mine. So Lauren Hill's email address started with C O M M, and then this other girl's email address started with C O L L. And obviously, L is the letter before M in the alphabet. And I felt, and I thought maybe by typing to this girl, I'm like going backwards. It's like I'm talking to Lauren Hill, then I'm talking to this girl, and and um, it's like going backwards in the internet. It's like going back on my word. Like I was saying, I'm not going to type anymore to people, but um. Then I realised I was thinking about the phonetic alphabet and all the years and postcode thing. And it, it, it made me think of M being Mike, being um, M representing um, 2026. And then, and then L representing 
2025. And, um, I was thinking about that. And, um, yeah, I thought there was some kind of meaning to it. And as well, her email address was collaterally mine. So it's like two words. It's like collaterally, and then mine is the second word. And then Lauren Hills is um, community.mlh. So it's like two words again. It's like the word community and then mlh. And they the second word begins with M. And like in the, in the collaterally mine email, it begins with M. It's all beginning with M. So... <laughs> I don't know, there's just, there's just similarities between the two emails. Like, I'd given up writing to C-O-M-M, -M, so I was writing to C-O-L-L, -L and I was thinking, like, I'm going backwards here. Maybe this isn't a good idea, but I just kept doing it, and I kept writing to her, and she wasn't writing back at all. She'd, and it was making me angry again, and... Um, thought about doing witchcraft but I didn't do too much it wasn't like you know I didn't do much and I wanted I didn't want to get angry and but um so it meant that L represented 2025 and M represented 2026 so then in an email that I'd written to and I was I'd write I was writing this email to collaterally mine and I was to that email address and I was to her. Um I was thinking that it was gonna be my last email to her. I was just saying like I'm giving up this and um I said in the email I said uh maybe later Maybe in the future, like, maybe one day, like, we'll make a connection. And then, and then after I wrote this connection word, after I wrote connection, like, it made me think of her email address being C-O-L-L, -L, then Lauren Hill's email address is C-O-M-M, -M, and then I'd just written connection, and that was C-O-N-N, -N, so then connection was like in 2027 connection was representing 2027 and it was like maybe in 2027 i'll make a connection with people that's cool thing like maybe in 2025 it will be like this this world is like collaterally mine and um, i'm gonna make people aware of that that um I own this earth, and then, because I made it, and then 2026 is like community, so I'll have some kind of community, there'll be a community of people who care about me, and there'll, there'll be a community of people talking about me and stuff like that, and then in 2027 I'll make a, like a deep connection with people, and then as well, in about, in like, in February 2022, I was reading old emails that I'd written to um, Lauren Hill, Miss Lauren Hill, to community.mlh at gmail. And, um, yeah, they were both at gmail, so it's like, whatever. They're both similar like email addresses. And then I was I was reading what I'd written to um Miss Laurel. And um I'd written about <laughs> I'd written to her that um I'd say I was saying how I didn't like games, I didn't like sports because in sports, there's winners and losers, and in business, there's win winners and losers, and I don't want there to be any losers. Like, 
I don't want winners and losers because when someone loses, it makes them feel bad. And when someone, when I win, it makes me feel bad for the people who lost. Like, and I said in this email, I don't want winners or losers. I just want cooperative souls. And then, and then as I read this, I'd written this in like, I've written this in maybe the 25th of May 2021 and this was like one of the first times I'd gone back to read what I wrote again and as I read this I'd already thought of this actually I'd already thought like when I thought of 20 like 2027 as soon as I thought of 20 as soon as I wrote connection in to this um girl who made YouTube, like this girl, as soon as I wrote Connection, it made me think, right, that must mean like 2026 is Connection, and then what's after Connection, it must be like, it must begin with C-O-O-O, C-O, just C-O-O-O, then I thought, well, the only thing that comes to mind is cooperation, so... It's like in 2028, it means... Anyway, I read this email that I'd written in May 2021. And it said, I don't want a world of winners and losers. I just want a world of cooperative souls. And um, it made me think, wow. It's like I'd written these words to these two... So these two girls, one of the girls, her email started with C-O-L-L, one of the girls that her started with C-O-M-M, and so the girl who started with C-O, well, so the girl who started with C-O-M, it was like M-M, it was, I wrote the word C-O-O, corporate, Cooperative. I'd re- I'd written that word to her. It was like two. It was like C O O missing C O N N. And to the girl who whose email address was C O L L, I'd written like the word C O N N to her, and I'd realised wow well, straight straight away as. Like a second or two after I wrote Connection, I thought, wait a minute, I just wrote this word. It's got C-O-N-N in it. And, yeah, so it's like 2028 is when I get cooperation. Like, that's that's another dimension of this coding thing. It It starts in 2025, and in 2024, there isn't a word. 2024 doesn't, there's no word starting with C-O-K-K, there's no word starting with C-O-K-K, and then in 2029 there's there's no word starting with C-O-Q-Q, it's impossible, it's just about those four years, and um, so then, then like, if you think of the whole alphabet, it's like, it starts with Papa. I know Papa is an alpha, but Papa represents the father. And the father is where everything starts from. Like, and in biology, without the father, there's nothing. You have to have a father, fa- you have to have a father first. Um, anyway, so the, the alphabet starts with Papa, then it goes to Tango, then it goes to Whiskey, like P, P being Piss, and then Tango being a soft drink, and then Whiskey being a hard drink, and then it goes to Golf, meaning like cracking codes and just association and then it goes to hotel where is where I was having an easier time sticking to my principles and not going shopping in a car um, and then it goes to indigo where it stops being about the addresses and starts being about the colors of the rainbow 
because rainbow has been so important to me since 2020 the rainbows were lifeline they were the most important thing to me like oh well, i can tell you in a different so i'm not going to talk about rainbows in this i mean i could talk about rainbows in this video but i'm just trying to sort out this code thing and then the code being ultraviolet to violet to indigo 2022 then it's green in 2024. <laughs> anyway. So it goes indigo, like from hotel to indigo, which is the colour of the rainbows rather than postcodes anymore. I just think of colours. And then um, the last colour being infrared, being above the rainbow, bit representing 2028. But also, if you just do the alphabet like p for papa p for the father and then um hotel indigo juliet kilo and then it goes to o o for oscar but um in the book of Revelation, 22 chapters of this book, um, whatever, it's, I'm always saying like, or people are always saying I'm saying, I'm like, I'm the alpha to a, a mega, I'm the last, from the first to the last, and I'm a mega being a Greek letter, but like in the phonetic alphabet, O means Oscar, but I think it should be changed to Omega because in the, in the Bible it says about Alpha to Omega and um, in my alphabet it started with P for Papa and then it ends with O for Omega and, and it represents 2028 is when my job's done like the I mean, 28 is a perfect number, and I've been in this body since the year 2000, um, whatever. <laughs>